Hey, welcome to the Mentor Engineer. This video, we're gonna talk about divisibility by seven. Now, when I grew up, I was told you can't tell if a number's been divisible by seven. There's no special trick like there's for three or nine. Seven's a unique guy. Well, there actually is a trick, and I was surprised to find this, and it's very simple to use. Let me show you how to use it and why it works. So let's take the number 238. Is it divisible by seven? I got no idea. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the right number and we're gonna multiply that by five and add it to everything to the left. All right, so in this case, we've got 23 plus eight times five. And eight times five is 40 plus the initial digits, 23, and that equals 63. Is 63 divisible by seven? Yes, it is. Let's do another one. How about we do 392? All right, so we take that 39 and we're gonna add it to the last digit and multiply it by five. So 39 plus two times five. All right, well that is 49. Is 49 divisible by seven? Yes, it is. Let's up our game here a little bit. How about 938? Now this is gonna require two steps. The first step is uh, 93 plus eight times five. That's uh, 133. I don't know if 133 is divisible by seven. The cool thing is, is we can actually do this process again. So let's take that 133, it's 13 uh, plus three times five, that's 15. So 13 plus 15 is 28. And 28 I know is divisible by seven. So I think most people will find it interesting that it works. For me, I wanna go further and find out why it works. So if we go to the 238 example from before, that X would be equal to eight. All right, and we're gonna say y is equal to the first two numbers, which is 23. All right, so to get 238, we would need 10 times the y, just shift it over one decimal place, and we would add that to x. So our equation to get from our x and y variables to the number we want, 238, is 10y plus x, okay? Nothing special going on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply everything by five. So if 10y plus x was divisible by seven, five times that should also be divisible by seven. So then we have 50y plus five x. So that seems like a useless step, why would we do that? Uh, but the trick here is we're gonna factor out 49 of those y's and see what we're left with. So we have y plus five x plus 49y. All right, so that 49y, is that divisible by seven? All the time, it doesn't matter what seven is. In fact, it's divisible by seven twice because of the 49. So we can just ignore that term and we're left with y plus five x. So that's the formula we're using and that's why it works. So go share this with your friends. Uh, it's a cool little trick. You can do it at parties if you get invited to parties, but you're watching this video so you probably don't. Uh, but hey, anyway, uh, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe.